Charles, sweep right. I have a lot of explosiveness. Turns out speed loose. I have a lot of the quickness. They're not gonna catch him. I take the hardest hit, I still get up. Stays on his feet. There goes Charles. Inside the 10. Gets it back to the middle. Five. Helicopters across the goal line. Touchdown. I feel like I played big. I feel like I was 240. A running back when I know I only way 200. Charles spins out of it. I was a fast guy. I was quick. I was explosive. But the inside of me was always trying to be bigger than what he could say I was. I never knew the culture of the University of Texas until I went there. Playing that year with Vince Young, it was unbelievable, man. Playing in the Rose Bowl against USC, having Reggie Bush on the field with Matt Liner. It was a two high level teams of all time and the best game of all time. Texas has defeated Southern California to win the national championship. At Texas's pro day, running back Jamal Charles ran position drills during the workouts, looked great catching the ball out of the backfield. No need to run his 40 again after clocking a 438 at the combine. I was projecting to be a first rounder at first, a high second rounder. That's my projecting my draft status. And I feel like I was one of the best running backs come out that class that year. Darren McFadden is still number one on my board, but Jamal Charles is now in my top five. He is number five for me. I didn't get drafted that first day, but the second day I got a call from the chief. With the 73rd pick, the Kansas City Chiefs have selected Jamal Charles, running back Texas. Kansas City Chiefs have two of the next four picks, and they just used one of them on Jamal Charles, running back Texas. Worked for Priest Holmes in Kansas City. Now here's another Texas running back coming in to go alongside Larry Johnson. It was disappointing of being drafted in the third round, but everything worked out for a reason. And I feel like I turned out to be the best in that class that year. There was history after that. When I got there, I was just basically another kid trying to get on the roster, so they had that guy. Here's Larry Johnson. Running room. It's Johnson breaking away to the five. Touchdown. Dudge is the man of Kansas City right now, and my job is to come here and play special teams, showing that I, I can contribute to the team in any type of way, and make plays whenever my name is called. They like this Jamal Charles. I mean, he's the rookie out of Texas, and he is explosive. I know I had the abilities to be special. I didn't think I would either have success in the NFL for this long. I think that Tommy yeah. Rattler. Separation down the right side. Catch is made by Charles, and Charles cuts in for the touchdown. I knew the ball was going to come to me because I was going to beat him and as you know I passed him up and caught the ball on the sideline ran the end zone for a touchdown. I believe he is their best back in terms of his all-around talents and ability. I played for that moment and just able to, to see how I feel to score a touchdown on my highest level um, and I, I wanted to get under the touchdown in Danes because you know you couldn't really dance in high school or, or college. I wasn't able to celebrate, so I was like, I got a score. And I was able to get in the end zone and do a little dance and everything. Larry Johnson's career in Kansas City is over. The Chiefs confirmed today that they had run out of patience with his off-the-field problems. They cut Johnson today. It wasn't really my team yet, because uh, the next person well was Kobe Smith. Me and Kobe were sharing reps, and he was the next guy up. And then he got hurt, then they relied on me the whole season and after that you know I tried to just take it off and show my abilities on the field. Jamal Charles back deep and we're underway from Arrowhead. Read on the kickoff to Jamal Charles fields at the three. Charles moving to the other side of the field able to cross the 30 yard line and stays on his feet. There goes Charles it's a foot race somehow emerged and Charles is gone. Touchdown, Kansas City. 97 yards for Charles. At the end of the season, we started winning games, and we wanted to take momentum into the next year. Kansas City Chiefs and Denver Broncos close out the year, regular season. We know Denver on their way to the playoff if they beat us. For me, I knew it was the last game. I knew I was still young in my prime. The Chiefs have discovered a running game here. Speedy Jamal Charles, he is averaging 5.2 yards a carry and has a chance with a 100-yard game today to move into the 1,000-yard club. Every time I touch the ball, I try to go for a touchdown. <laughs> Breaks a tackle. There comes left. Here he goes. He's at the 45-50 using that speed. Hit from behind by Andre.
Andre Goodman. Every time Coach Haley called my name, it was try to get a first down or try to hit a home run. Get your block down two. Touchdown, Kansas City. Hey, wait, kid. You might tomorrow. be great. You might be great tomorrow. You might be. Charles Whiteside, 50, 45, 40. Sprints into the secondary and tackle from behind. Charles has just mowing him down. Power play right side. Charles, 45, 50. Across the 45. Charles on his feet. Left side angry. 30, 25, 20. Cut back. 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Jamal Charles. It's now turned into one of the best days in NFL history. That's 259 rushing yards, the best effort in Kansas City Chiefs single game history. I was the first ever in NFL to rush over 1,000 yards under 200 carries. That's when I feel like, man, you know, I might I might even have the abilities here that no other guys have. I feel like, man, I, I might have something special here. Hopefully I can keep this job. Next year came, it was hard. Thomas Jones came in. Handoff, Jones left side, inside the 10, Jones, peels it back right, inside the 5, touchdown! As the veteran Thomas Jones throws the ball in the air. And I wasn't a starter, so Thomas Jones took over the starting role, and I'm just trying to show people that I am that guy, I am that guy. We all like brothers, like family, man, play like family, play like blood, man. Love each other, man, let's play so hard today. I didn't understand it in my mind, but when Tommy Jones got there, he really took my career to the next level. He is something special, boy. When he gets in the open field, he has the capability of making big plays and even getting into the end zone. He took me on his wing like a big bro. I try to take as much knowledge from him and wisdom from him from the game. With Thomas there, he did take a lot of load on me. Thomas was a more inside guy. I was a more outside guy, so he definitely took a lot of pressure off me by running a lot of power plays, about abilities of the end zone where I, I was the guy that nobody believed in because I'm small and they, they had to put the other guy in to score the touchdown. Checks it down, another completion. Charles, Charles, dangerous down to about the one yard line. Jones up and over, Marcus Allen style, and it's a touchdown for the Chiefs. It all came together to me at the end. Like, don't matter who at the running back, I still can show people that Jamal got talent. Jamal can run the ball, don't matter who's in front of me or who's next to me. And it's Charles with that great speed taken off. Jamal Charles, no one's going to touch him. Touchdown, Kansas City. It is a torn ACL, and Jamal Charles is done. It happened in Detroit. He slipped on the yard marker, and then it he ran into the Lions mascot. Oh, that was a big blow for me, man, because I never experienced nothing like that in my life. I thought my career was over with. He's not going to be the same player no more. He's not going to be explosive no more. And I kind of fed on all that stuff what people were saying. Man. But I know, I know me. I have to work hard and show people and prove people wrong. I've always been proving people wrong my whole life, my whole career. So my option is to go out there and prove people wrong. I can bounce back. Cutting back is Charles, and he's got room. The door is open, and here he goes. Touchdown. When I came back, I just wanted to show people that I'm still here. Port Arthur, Texas toughness. My nickname for him is Port Arthur Toughness. I live in Port Arthur, so I don't know that far from New Orleans, so a lot of my family in the stadium. And they, I had two charter bus, they, they drove down to see me. Charles at the 30! Thrown to the ground. I had support there in the stands looking for me, looking on on me, cheering me on. So I was probably showing out for them. Power play, left side, Charles off tackle. He's at the 20, he's at the 30, turns that speed loose. He's at the 50, Harper chasing. I could just hit the whole stadium going crazy that, that game, man. That was a great feeling. They're not going to catch him. Touchdown, Kansas City in one of the longest runs in Kansas City Chiefs history. 91-yard touchdown run by Jamal Charles. Every time I got the ball, I got to score a touchdown because if I if I don't get in the end zone, they're going to bring somebody in on the five-yard and score my touchdown. In Cleveland, it was the first play touchdown. <laughs> Jamal Charles, nice hole. And a big game, and Charles is loose. Jamal Charles up the sideline, and he will score for Kansas City on the first play from scrimmage. Take it 80 yards to the house. Jamal Charles is a home run hitter. 
fast, elusive, and a physical runner. They knew he was a good back, and he proved it on the first play. That was always been my whole big thing in my whole career, where I was a small guy. I never can get in the end zone until Coach Andy Reid came. The first three years was rough. They was trying to build a winning culture there. At the end of the day, we still had a job to do, and I just tried to go out there and do my best ability. I know it's a team sport, but I try to show up every Sunday. But I mean, when Coach Andy Reid came in, I'm very excited to be a Kansas City Chief. He changed our culture a little bit. I think him coming in, it was one of the best things that Kansas City ever did in that history. You got a slug over there, right? Yes, sir. So all the, all the moves, are, just go push his inside shoulder and then break it fast, yes, and he'll stick it right on you. You get your shoulder square on, it's over for him. Now Coach Andy Reid coming in with his philosophy, we had like 14 Pro Bowls that year. Can you tie that shoe with your helmet in your hand? I They say you're pretty talented. And now he's coming to this team that have all this talent, and now he's about to basically change his organization around. Because Reed gave me opportunities uh, to make amazing plays. Whoa, what a cut by Jamal Charles. I feel like he turned my career over even more. He, he allowed me to get the ball on the goal line where no other coach before that wouldn't let me get on the goal line. Charles, he's in for the touchdown. It felt good to be able to come in and score a touchdown that was mine now. He's already scored once, and Charles now twice. Touchdown, Kansas City. Most of them come from the goal line, and some of them come from 60 yards, 70 yards. Coach Reed trusted me, he want me in the game, and I just try to take off. Breaking free, and there he goes, five touchdown. And he left a slew of Colts on the field in his wake. We come to you today from Oakland. Action from the AFC West. If I go in that game and say that tomorrow you're going to score five touchdowns, I still wouldn't believe you. Smith, dump off to Charles. Getting to the outside. Jamal Charles down the sideline. Nobody's going to catch him. Charles goes all the way. High throw. Snared by Charles. Charles after the catch. Jamal Charles is going to take it all the way. Touchdown, Kansas City. But we really like to throw the ball a lot. If he can put you in space and catch the ball, he's going to put me in space. And Coach Reed always had the opportunity to put me in space because you know I can make one guy miss. Shotgun for Kansas City. Smith on a pass to Charles. Stays on his feet. Charles takes it right to the goal line. Never knew I would score four touchdowns at wide receiver. It should have been five. I got tackled on the one. That's the one I ran in. Charles, he knifes his way to the end zone. Toss it to Charles. Jamal Charles! Monster day for Charles! Touchdown number four. Me catching the ball and taking it to the house, I have not a clue that I was scoring none of them touchdowns. Make the run, the throw to Jamal Charles, and Charles now a foot race. Goodbye, Jamal Charles. What a day it's been for Charles. 71 yards on the catch and run. It's touchdown number five. He talked about uh, playing here and how excited he was, but I don't think he ever envisioned this type of day. It was one of them games that sometimes it's out of your hands. You got an extra somebody out there helping you and pushing the lines away and open holes away. And I feel like I had an angel out there that day. Tonight in Arrowhead, it's a visit by Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, and the New England Patriots. Cameras on, lights shining tonight. You definitely want to put on because you know you're the only game that day. And when the light is on, you want to show people that you're still that guy. It's at home, it's in Arrowhead, best stage in the world, laws in NFL history. That game before I didn't play against Miami, so I was fresh. And I knew I would have all my abilities, my explosiveness, my quickness. Smith will get Jamal Charles going to the left, got a good block from Fisher, and gets the first down. And all that show, you know, making moves, juking. Not many open field runners like Jamal Charles. Getting inside, my power. It is Charles towards the end zone. Yes, he's it. Touchdown, Kansas City. What a finish by Jamal Charles at pay dirt. Smith, quickly, Jamal Charles, who's in? What? Another Kansas City touchdown. What a quick lightning strike drive. Bunch to the left. Smith looks right. Charles for the third time. Jamal Charles coming out of the backfield against Gerard Mayo. No chance.
We are back in Kansas City on a 19 degree afternoon. They had the Legion of Boom there and we, they were coming in Arrowhead. Once again, once you were in Arrowhead, when I was there, I had to show out. Third and goal. The toss to Charles to the edge, to the end zone. So I just wanted to go out there and represent for my hometown, Kansas City. Up the gut, Jamal Charles. Charles inside the 30. From the 16, it's Charles into the end zone, his second touchdown today. Boy, Andy Reid really had the Seattle defense on their heels on that one. That game was just amazing, man. They put me in a great situation and me out there just trying to do what I do on, on Sunday. Here's Charles and he picks up his 11th first down today and he keeps on running. Jamal Charles inside the 30, the 20. My goals back then was to help my team get to close to the first down. My goal was to get five yards, uh, but with my abilities, you know, five yards can go from 20, 40, 60 sometimes to touchdown. Cuts it back inside, and there he goes. Jamal Charles on his way to the end zone for the touchdown. That's my slogan. It's called Five Point and Beyond. Charles gets it again. It's first floor. And breaks a tackle on the secondary. Now breaks two. It's a 33-yard run, breaking tackles by the toughest runner in Chiefs history. Oh, man. That was, that's an unbelievable run. I used to write those things down. My goal this week to get more than five yards every time I touch the ball. I feel like you write those things down, you have a vision, you have a goal, you can accomplish anything. You know, you can't teach people to run like that. You just have to have that instinct. I don't take nothing for granted. I'm blessed. I feel like I accomplished a lot. The rushing yards, yards per carry. I got three all pros. Having a Russian title in KC, to able to play 10 years and accomplish what I accomplished. In a red room full of great running backs, you can go right down the line. Holmes, Johnson, Marcus Allen, McClinton, Podolak. Jamal Charles is now at the head of the class. He is the all-time leading rusher in Chiefs history. I'm still sometimes amazed what I have accomplished.